Hey y'all, I'm Shayna and I'm back with another review. This is for Love & Hip Hop Atlanta, Season 11, Episode 11, Miami Vices. Let's go ahead and jump into it. Um, before we do, y'all already know, if you enjoyed the video, watch all the way through, check out my other content, and don't forget to subscribe because this is a growing channel, okay? It's appreciated over here, trust me. So we start off at Sierra's Ghetto Girl Eats event. It's packed in there, people ready to eat, they sprinkling up the food with her Ghetto Girl Eats seasoning. She's so moved, she's moved to tears, okay? She's just so happy that, you know, another entrepreneurial vision is successful. Um, her husband, Eric, shows up. He shows up to the event to support. He on the red carpet, giving out interviews and talking about how he helped her from the start. Ciao. <laughs> Um, he said he helped build a brand. Now, Sierra's upset because she's like, why are you here? Like, I don't want to be with you. Why are you even at my functions? But, um, she was like, look, you said that this was calling a ghetto girl eats was ghetto. And you were like talking down on it. And he was like, I just said we should pick a different name so we can have a broader, um, you know, more versatile audience. Like, it, we're limiting ourselves by calling the ghetto girl eats because people feel like, well, I'm not ghetto. I'm not buying that seasoning. And so he felt like, okay, well, if we change it to something else, Southern girl eats or whatever he said, then that will appeal to more people. I actually felt what he was saying on that. I didn't see anything wrong with what he said, but this is her brand at the end of the day. So she went with what she saw was best for her. Um, she was like, look, I've been cooking since I was 12. I've been cooking before I even met you. So what did you help build exactly? I believe he may have helped her with on the business side. They're like, they're both entrepreneurs. They probably bounced ideas off each other and, and, and discussed certain things as far as the business side of it. So I, I feel like he probably did have input as far as that, as far as that was concerned. But I'm sure she made the final decisions and things of that nature. Now, he still want to be with her and that's why he's supporting her. But she kicked him out. So that was that. <laughs> Moving on. Spice is in Miami. Um, she's down there to get the key. She thought she was getting the key to the city. But it turns out she's getting the key to the region, honey. So she pulled up on Safari. Because he lived down there now. So I don't know why he's on this this franchise. But that's neither here nor there. <laughs> he pulling out the chair for her. He being a gentleman. He got more respect for her than he had for his ex-wife. So, Spice asked about Amada. Everybody know what's going on with their storyline. You know, she know they filming right now. We hear his infamous line that he's single and free to do whatever he wants. I don't know why he ever got married. He gonna wear that I'm single down to the ground. Safari claims that Erica is keeping the kids away from him. But she won't tell everybody that she's still sleeping with him. Um... Why are you sleeping with a woman that's keeping your children from you? Like, please make it make sense. She's keeping the children from you, but you're going to sleep with her anyway. I, I, okay. <laughs> He's so raggedy. So Safari mentions Erica leaving the kids with him to go to Mexico. She went on vacation and come to find out she went with another guy. Who cares? She's single, right? I mean, because... If it was the other way around, you would say you were single. So who cares if she's going to Mexico with another man? She's single and you had your children. You weren't just babysitting somebody else's kids. You were taking care of your kids. So, so. Uh, Safari says that he does because <clears throat> Spice was like, is there any chance that y'all going to get back together? Because y'all still dibbling and dabbling. And that's why, you know, Erica's always upset because <laughs> y'all still crossing boundaries. Safari said he does not want to get back with her right now at this moment. And the answer would be no. Um, I honestly wouldn't be shocked if these two actually did get back together later on. Because they're so toxic. They, they're more similar than they are different. The producer asked Safari if there was any overlap between Erica and Amada. Um, and he said that's none of Amada's business. So basically, yes, is what I gathered from that. <laughs> Safari says that he pays his child support. Um, and Spice was like, well, where is the proof? Show me the Carfax. Um, Safari came with the receipts. Now, what my thought was in this moment was, I know I heard somewhere Erica say that he's been paying, but late. Like, he don't pay on time. So, 
Yeah. <laughs> That's the equivalent of Scrappy saying, oh, I did pay the rent, but you paid it a month late. You got to make the payment on time, baby. Um, Spice is talking about, oh, that's not right for her to do that. We need to protect the black man. Um, first thing that came to my mind was he was denying his son. He wasn't in the NICU when the boy was in the NICU. He was in Jamaica dancing and twerking on other, on the women. But now we need to protect this black man. If Erica is keeping your children, if any man is saying a woman is keeping their kids away, you have rights just like she does. Take her to court. Fight to get custody of your children in if she's keeping them away. Otherwise, I don't want to hear it. As exhausted as single mothers be, listen, we're going to take the break when we can get it. I don't want to hear <laughs> I don't want to hear it. I do believe that she still has feelings. And I do believe that when there was come time to talk about the kids, you start talking about your relationship. Yes. But I'm sure if you came to get the kids, she, first of all, would want to see you so she can get the D. And second of all, she probably wants the break. So we see Rennie Rucci and Carly Red. They're walking in the park or something and they're discussing mental health. Rennie admits that she just may need therapy. And I too think she should be open to it. <laughs> don't 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 go against it. Don't turn it away now. Don't count it out. Let's look into it. Um, it's been almost two years since her mom passed. That time done flew by, didn't it? So, Spice is getting ready to get the keys to the region. She's in her hotel room getting her makeup and hair done. Rashida and Shekinah are there. Messy Shekinah. Flo Rida, you know that rapper with the apple bottom jeans, the boots with the fur, strolled on in. I don't know if he had a song since, but child, he strolled on in. <laughs> so, Spice is like, hmm. Because, you know, she was, Spice was hugging him. She's like, oh, I'm so happy to see you. And she kind of was like, she ain't never hugged me like that. And they're trying to figure out, like, what's going on between these two? Is there something going on? Um, now, I remember there was rumors about him and, you know, his child as well. So I'm hoping that those rumors I heard weren't true for him, um, you know, and that child of his. I don't like caring about no men not taking care of their responsibilities. So hopefully that was not true, allegedly. Um, Shekinah and Rashida are, like, insinuating, like, still, like, it's something going on. But Spice said in her confessional, he's, like, a brother to her, and they made a song together, and they've been cool. I don't know. I don't really, I didn't see, I seen Spice got excited. It doesn't look like he was, like, flirting with her or nothing like that. So, yeah. After he leaves, Spice tells the ladies about the tea she got from Safari regarding Safari and Erica's drama. So, we see Sierra. She invites Eric to the park. Um, and she did not let him know what her intentions were, which was to serve him those divorce papers. He's thinking he's just coming to the park to talk. So, he arrives and he blindly walks into the situation. It low-key looked like they were trying to match a little bit. Was that just me? I mean... I know, you know, they just, it was black, but it looked like they was kind of, like they wore the same kind of, I don't know. <laughs> so Eric wants to fight for his marriage. He said he still loves Sierra. I don't know. They are just not good together. They start arguing and pointing fingers at each other. Both of y'all got something y'all can work on. Now she did make some heavy statements I don't like, like saying he don't get along with her children. That's a problem. Calling her out her name, huge problem. Her cheating. He's like, well, you cheated too. Didn't leave each other. Like, what, why did y'all... This is a marriage. And since Sierra always want to talk about, I've always been married, I've always been married, you know, should know how serious it is, and you shouldn't have taken it so lightly. So as they're going back and forth, and Eric is saying, well, you don't know, you know how to follow a man's lead, and whatever she was saying, a random guy walks up and serves him the papers. And he is upset, honey. First of all, he's embarrassed, because he's like, you gonna do me like this in front of all these cameras? And in public, like, you're going to do this like that on TV. Like, I can't even believe you did that. I can. Y'all film it. What did you think? Why did you think that she wasn't going to do it? When he walked up, his first thing that he said was, why are we meeting at the park? Why you think? She trying to get this divorce. Um, Sierra said it's over. <laughs> she don't care what she's talking about. It don't matter if your feelings is hurt, if you're embarrassed. Don't care. It's over. So, Rainy does uh, paintball with her kids. I don't know why I thought she had three kids, but she with her two kids. Um, 
And they have an emotional conversation about the loss of her mom. She more so did the talking. They just looked sad. They looked like they could be her siblings. I know she had them young, but she must have them real young. Because they looked like they close in age. <laughs> um, I do like seeing Rennie in mommy mode. That brings out another side to her. Not enough that I think she should be on the cast. But since she's here, we might as well see other aspects of her life. So, it's time for Spice Event. Uh, where she's getting the keys. And I know she said she went blue all year. But I wouldn't mind seeing her in another color. It's just something else. I, I just, anything else. Just, I'm tired. <laughs> but I mean, okay, it was nice. Erica Mena walks up. And in her confessional, you know what? The more I see her online here lately, she looking darker and darker and darker. And then all of a sudden, recently, she claimed to be Afro-Latina. I didn't never hear her claim that no time before. I don't know. I, like, y'all was saying, I ain't going to say what y'all was saying. I'm going to just leave it alone. But I'm just saying, she was looking a little bit different, is all I'm going to say. So, <clears throat> Spice gets the keys. And then in the hallway, we got the Frost couple, uh, Kirk and Rashida with um, Kirk's toupee. They in the hallway, and Shekinah there, they talking. They're like, where's Safari at? He was supposed to be here. When Kirk and Rashida was like, we don't know and we don't care. Our name is Bennett. We ain't in it. <laughs> but she kind of going to be messy because she ain't talking about her own life. So she got to talk about everybody else's. So she like, well, I don't know. I just thought he was gonna, he was supposed to be here. She wanted to get to the bottom of it. Suddenly, Erica walk out. She enters the chat. So Erica claims because she kind of was like, well, look, Spice met with Safari earlier. And he had receipts about the child support. And Erica claims, because she first thing she said was he ain't been getting the kids. And she kind of was like, well, look, he said he been paying child support. He said that you lying. Erica pulls out her receipts and shows, like, look, he just started paying. Or if he pays, he's paying a month's late. Of course, Kirk sides with Safari, like, oh, well, but he is paying. You can't pay months late. If I had to pay the daycare or I guess they're paying nannies or whatever and they have to get paid and I'm waiting on your child support payment to cover your portion and then you pay it two months later, you can't say, well, at least I paid. Stuff got to get paid by a due date. It got to get paid on time. I don't know. These men just, ugh, yuck. So Rashida and Shekinah call Erica out for going on vacation with another man. They like, you went out with another guy. They said it, but the way they said it, like the tone I don't like it. And, and Rashida, she just really gets on my nerves. But, because <laughs> she's talking like she just knew it for a fact. Oh, you went out to Mexico. You was with another man. Erica's like, it was a group date. Now, it might have been a group date, but was one of those men in the group for you? Or, <laughs> but I'm like, who cares? Why does it matter? And what if she did? And so, and so I'm like, oh, well, you were sleeping with Safari a month ago and you're going to Mexico with another guy. Isn't he supposed to be in a whole relationship with Amada? Who cares? Why does it matter? He's the one. She she clearly wants her family back. He don't want to keep hollering. He's single every chance he get. So it don't matter what she doing. What she's supposed to do. Not move on. <laughs> I don't understand. But they talking like they know fast. You was out there. You were still sleeping with Safari a month ago. And she's like, we were not sleeping together. She said she urinated on him. <sighs> and I could have gone my whole life never knowing that information. I mean, talk about TMI. Like, you trying to prove a point, but it's making both of y'all look crazy. It didn't really do what you thought it did. It really didn't. Because they was like, oh my goodness, like, girl, please. But y'all was pushing the issue. Y'all was poking the bear. So y'all know y'all get her upset. <laughs> and then uh, Rashida was like, I know it went too far because the vein was popping out on the forehead. Yeah, y'all pushed her. To, but y'all pushed her. She was sitting there minding her business. And for no reason at all, y'all decided to start telling her all this information. Wrong place. And then Rashida told me it's the time and place for everything. Y'all bought it up. But whatever. So, Erica, um, after she told that bit of information, Spice walks out. She, of course, sides with Safari. She's team Safari. She like, girl, don't be calling him names knowing you still want him. She might still want him. And still call him names. <laughs> like, so, what does that mean? She's mad. So, she's calling him names. She's actually she's lashing out. She's upset. Whatever. Erica starts breaking down and she like, oh, y'all don't even know. My daughter misses her dad and this and that. And she kind of was like, I get it. And Erica was like, no, you don't get it. No, the F you don't. First of all, no, she kind of doesn't get it because she kind of don't even have kids. So not really. You really don't. 
<laughs> but I mean, and that's not to diminish anybody who, but, but you, until you in it, you really don't get it. You get to say, I understand, you know, I, I understand that you may be feeling the way or whatever. But I'll be like, I get it. You don't get it. <laughs> Erica was like, no, you don't get it. Um, because it's just like, you always just staring at mess. And that's a fact. But uh, after she get done breaking down, uh, and it was the camera, petty cameraman going to zoom in on that vein po poking out. The Spice was like, you want to talk about this right now when I just got the keys? She was like, yeah, well, I just got to let you know. I mean, the information you got was incorrect. Look, I, I, I do side with Shekinah on this. I don't know who to believe with either one of y'all. Because you got these receipts. He got these receipts. The truth somewhere in the middle. Y'all still sleeping together. It's fuzzy. Until y'all... Like, either y'all going to be together or not. All this dipping your toe in, in between, it's making matters real messy. And at the end of the day, ultimately, you're hurting your two kids. And that's on that. I mean, either y'all going to be together or not. And Safari so looking like, he said, when he moved to Miami, this is the happiest he's been. So, it's looking like it's a wrap for that. This, that man never wanted to be no family man. You could tell. That's just my opinion, though. Y'all let me know what y'all think down in the comments. Did you watch this episode? Let me know. Check out my other content. Subscribe if you made it this far. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye.